Another example is also the uh, plugs. So if you are a company, company who is uh, offering electric plugs, uh, you have also to modify your uh, electric plugs in order to suit the uh, different types of outlets in different countries. Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. Alright, so you are so lucky again today because uh, we will be talking about the word internationalization, okay? So some of you were confused about the meaning of internationalization and globalization. So for today, we will be defining what is internationalization. So if you are ready, then let's start. So what is internationalization? Do you have any idea? Okay? So, kung meron kayong idea about internationalization, can you write it down on the comment section para makita natin kung tugma ba ang iyong sagot after this tutorial? Alright, so I'll give you 5 seconds to do that. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, when we say internationalization, uh, we refer to the process of designing uh, products to meet the needs of users in many countries or designing them so they can be easily modified to achieve this goal. Okay, so that means that uh, when we say internationalization, a company is trying to design their products in order to meet the standards of different countries. Let's say, for example, the website, okay? So, uh, a website which is uh, owned by a uh, U.S. or U uh, U.S. Uh, citizen. So, gusto niyang i-promote yung website niya from different countries or let's say, for example, Sp Spain. So, dapat uh, i-design niya na meron ding uh, choice or meron ding Spanish language. So, dapat uh, lahat ng mga English terms may translation in Spanish. Whereas, Kapag uh, ginamit sa Espanya, hindi sila mahihirapan dahil uh, understandable na yung mga wording. So, yung mga English word nagiging uh, automatically translated to Spanish words. So, that is uh, internationalization. Baka nagtatanong din kayo kung kailan ba or bakit ba ginagawa ng mga companies ito? So, bakit ba ginagawa nila itong word na internationalization? Okay. So, companies are doing this or uh, mostly practicing uh, internationalization in order for them to uh, expand the horizon of their business, okay? So, para mas ma-expand or mas ma-spread pa yung produkto nila sa iba't ibang bansa, they have to adapt with the uh, traditions or cultures with other countries Okay, so by modifying their product, para hindi rin mahirapan yung mga customer kung bibili sila. Let's say, for example, the uh, Jollibee or the McDonald's. Okay, so in order for them to uh, spread their uh, franchise to several countries, they have to adapt with the uh, with whatever culture that the countries have. So the fried chicken of McDonald's, uh, usually malalaki ito dapat. But in some parts of the countries, maliliit yung, uh, maliliit yung kinagisnan nila. Let's say, for example, the Philippines. So, yung alam natin, maliliit lang yung fried chicken dahil we only, uh, mas maraming maliliit na manok dito. So, in order for Jollibee or McDonald's to uh, have or to spread their products or to have a franchise here in the Philippines, they have to modify some of their Product. So, ganyan ang internationalization. Another example is also the uh, plugs. So, if you are a company, company who is uh, offering electric plugs, uh, you have also to modify your uh, electric plugs in order to suit the uh, different types of outlets in different countries. 
So that is all about internationalization. And I hope that you have learned something. And uh, I hope na meron kayong natutunan dito. And if you have some question, or you may write it down on the comment section para mabalikan ko kayo. And you may also um, write down your suggestion for the next video topics. Okay? So, if you are new here, please don't forget to like this video today and subscribe to my YouTube channel in order for you to get updated on my new video uploads every week. Okay? So, goodbye everyone!